Last week, you guys learned about how to write a package. I hope you're all taking the time to write and script a package properly. But how do you get your written words onto a package? You have to record your voice tracks, also known as reporter tracks. Now, I'm guessing most of you don't have a sound booth at home, but I have a little secret for you. You actually do. I'm about to show you the scariest place in my entire house, so be prepared. This is my sound booth, and I bet you have one too. A closet is a great place for you to actually record and voice your tracks. Because it's an enclosed space, it shuts out all of the noise that is in the rest of your house, and your fashionable clothing really helps provide sound padding. Once you're in your newfound sound booth, make sure you take your script with you so and sit up straight so that your voice and your sound are not constricted. You want to make sure that when you're reading, you're doing it at a good pace. Don't speak too slowly and don't speak so fast that no one can understand what you're saying. You want to make sure that you're pacing at the appropriate level. Also, work on enunciating and sounding as professional as possible. Act like the boss of your dream job is listening in. You can practice your enunciation and delivery with your family. Ask them to give you some feedback on words that you don't enunciate properly or things that you need to pronounce a little differently. Ask them if their rate of speed is something that they can understand. Delivery is an important part of voicing, so make sure you pay attention to it. Once you're ready to track your script, it's important to keep a few things in mind about placement. First, try to use headphones that have a microphone attached to them. Plug it into your phone and use this as your microphone. If you don't have good microphone headphones, just place the phone about six inches away from your voice. You don't want it too close to where you can hear popping from your mouth. And you don't want it so far away that you can't hear anything. Six inches away is a pretty good distance. You don't have to worry about what the video is recording. There are a few ways to record your reporter tracks. First, you can open up your regular camera on your phone and just hit record on the video. Once you have all of your tracks recorded, you can upload them into your editing app. Or if you want to open it up in your Vlogit app, you can hit the button from camera in the lower left hand side and record your voice from there, just as you would in the regular camera. However, this allows you to avoid the uploading step. In addition, if you've already edited your video together, you can hit the voiceover button on the lower right hand side while you're editing the package to put a voice track directly over the video sequence. Videolicious has a similar way of recording your voice track. When you click make a video in the right hand corner and then basic, it will allow you to upload your script and provides a teleprompter for you to read while you're tracking. You will have as many voice tracks as you do sections of reporter tracks in your package script. That way it limits the amount of editing that you have to do. You can technically record them all at once, but you'd have to edit each of the tracks out. So that's too challenging. For now, just record them as separate videos. So anything that's between sound bites would be one recording. Keep in mind, your track should be about 10 to 15 seconds long. You want a good variety of tracks, bites, tracks, bites, so that they flow quickly and easily. So there you have it. You had no idea you had your very own sound booth in your own home, did you? Well, now you can record your reporter tracks and make sure that you're telling and delivering your story in a great way audibly. And you can thank me later for helping you find a quiet place to hide out in your home.